Monday. Waiting for my peeps. It's 12 o'clock. Today I'm going to be taking you through some of my favorite series. So the series of five mixed with some back extension work and then a little more back extension work to help us open through our neck and shoulders. And then we're going to be ending with some sideline series, some of the glute series to work our glute medius. Um, so all you will need is a mat. Make sure you have space so that then we're going to be lying on the side of our mat, we're gonna be utilizing it in this direction. So make sure you have space behind you and in front of you for your body. Um, yes, Ken, I see you're watching, good. So let's give just a few more seconds for the rest of my peeps. So make sure you have space on your mat. And we're going to be taking it right to our mat. So we're gonna skip some of my other warm-up stuff we're gonna go right to lying down. All right, so you're gonna find the center of your mat, lie right in the center. You're gonna hug both knees into your chest. All right, so if I were to show you from this angle. And then you're gonna hug your right knee and left leg up, reach the leg long, keep your upper back curled up, and then switch. And then switch, switch, right? If you have neck tension, rest the head, switch, switch. You have six more, six, five, Four, three, two, one, one. Then you're gonna reach arms and legs out. You're gonna to roll to your right. So from here, when I reach, we're gonna roll. You're gonna lift your chest, you're gonna paddle for swimming. Breath is inhale, breath is exhale, breath is inhale, exhale. Three more, meaning three more breaths. Two, last one, now hold it. Now, without touching the floor, roll to your back. Stay curled up, hug both knees in, reach up, stretch, hug. Inhale, reach, exhale in. So find the angle that works for you, right? So if you need to lift up a little bit higher, lift up a little bit higher. Four more, four, three, two, Reach out, hold. Now we're gonna roll to the left. I have to put myself more on the screen. So from here, roll to your tummy. Roll to your left. Lift the chest, paddle for swimming. Breath is inhale. Breath is exhale. Breath is inhale. Three more. You gotta really get your arms and legs moving. Two. Last one, now roll to your back. Try not to touch the floor. Hold it, scissors. Right leg up, left leg up. Switch, switch, switch. So if you have neck tension, again, rest the head down. Find that place. Really give the leg a pull. If you can only hold behind your thigh, just hold behind your thigh. Three more, three, two, one, one. You guessed the arms and legs out, roll to your right. Roll, paddle for swimming. Breath is inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Really get your arms and legs to move. Use your butt to kick the legs higher. Last one, hold. Roll to your back. Now the hands go behind your head. Lift the legs up. Lower down. Lift. Lower, squeeze the inner thighs up. Six more, six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now, arms out, legs out. You guys roll to the left. Lift the chest. Pedal, inhale. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two. Last one. Hold. Now roll to your back. Whew, I needed a little help with that one. Hands behind your head, knees in. Crisscross. Twist right, left, right, left. Right, so when you're here, elbow to knee, reach up. Twist, twist. Six more. Six. Five. Four. Three, try to go up a little higher. Two, 
one, one. Rest down, feet down. All right, we're gonna take it into a little bridge. Lift your hips up. But for this bridge, it's more of an extension. So you're gonna feel like you're gonna tuck your shoulders under you. Palms are down. Open your feet a little wider than your hips to allow a little more space. Lift up, right? So we're going more for an arch in our spine instead of a straight spine. Right, so when you're in the arch, just hold, breathe, inhale. Breathe into your chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Try to lift your hips a little higher. Use your butt to press the hips up. Last one. Exhale now. Melt the spine down. Articulate all the way. Use your abs to find that connection. Now let's roll back up. Roll up. Lift. So again, walk the hands under. If you have the ability, see if you can interlace your hands. Press the arms down. Open your chest. Press into your feet to lift the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Then unlace the hands. Roll down. All right, and everything's always better in three, so we get one more time. Roll up. Lift high. Now when you're here, feel like there's a string pulling your chest to the back. Right, open. Stretch the arms long. If you're able to interlace the hands, interlace them. Press the hips up. Exhale. One more breath. And then unlace the hands. Roll down. Roll over onto your tummy. Right. So when you're on your tummy, Start with your elbows right under your shoulders for a little sphinx pose. Eyes up, chest up. Anchor your legs down. So when you're here, use your butt to help you press the hips down. Right? It's not a grip, it's just like a lift in your seat. Press into your hands, lift the chest. Look up, inhale. Exhale, roll back down. So it's a similar place for our spine as when we were flipped over in that bridge. And then again, up, open your chest. If your shoulders are really tight, take your hands wider. Pull the shoulder blades back, shoulder blades down, roll down. One more time, lift up. Now, a little neck stretch, you look right. Roll the chin down, look to your left. And then again, roll down, look to your right. Last one, roll down, look left, last one, abs stay lifted here, look center, then roll all the way down. Now hands under your shoulders, keep your chest up, right, like that string is pulling your chest forward, legs are long, give a little float up, hover your hands, hold it. Now place the hands down. Use about maybe 10% of your weight. Try to go up a little higher. Hold it. See if you can hover the hands. Hands down. Go up a little higher. Lift the chest. So maybe about 20, maybe 30% of your weight's in your hands. See if you can hover. Hold. Hands down. Reach the legs. Use your lower half. So keep the energy flowing into your legs. Go up a little higher. Abs stay lifted, heart stays up. Hover the hands. It's progressively getting a little harder. And then again, hands down. Eyes up, breathe in. Last one, so only about 50% of my weight's in my hands. Hover, hands down. Now see if you can let go. Give a little rock, a little up. A little rock, a little up. Three more, three, two, your energy of your heart keeps going up. One more, one, up, go all the way down. Sit back, quick little child's pose. All right, give your back a little stretch. Most of our low backs aren't used to that much extension. All right, so it's just training like anything else. Little stretch out, come back up. Now, when you're here in this sphinx pose, right, belly stays lifted, your legs are reaching long, anchor your toes down. 
And then you're going to open your arms up to a T. Forehead down in the mat. Right, so when your forehead is down, I'm going to keep mine slightly up so you can still hear my voice. Your palms are facing flat down. Lift both arms up. Hold them. And then lower down. We're just going to do five ups. Lift up four. Lift up three. Low back is long. Two. Hold it up there. Now keep lifting higher. Five little circles. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Reverse them. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower. Now we're going to take thumbs up to the ceiling. Lift up five. Four. Three. Move from your shoulder blades. Two. Hold it up. Five little circles. Five. Four. Keep your forehead down. Three. Reverse. Lift higher. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now when hands go down, rotate the palms behind you. Right? So thumbs point straight down to the floor. Lift up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, hold it, five circles, five, four, three, one, reverse, five, keep lifting higher, four, three, two, one. Now, reach the arms straight out in front of you. Forehead stays down, arms stay long, let me slide back. And then start actually with thumbs up. Then from here, with the forehead down, reach your right arm up, lower, lift your left arm up. Lower. If your shoulders are tight, go a little wider. Right, left. Now when you lift your arm, don't let your whole body rotate. Keep everything long. Right, now we get to sample both. Reach both arms up. Keep going. Hold, little pulse up, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, palms down, aren't you glad I didn't do circles there? All right, so palms are down, forehead down, go up, five, four, try to lift higher each time, three, two, hold, stretch a little longer, rotate palms up, lower down. So when you're here, palms are up, All right, belly stays lifted, tailbone long. Lift up. So imagine like you're holding little cups of soup in your hand. Don't spill your soup. All right. Up. Ooh, this one's much harder. Up. Three more. Three. Two. One. Now you're going to spill your soup. Palms go flat down. Open. Lift up. Reach the arms back. Open to a T. Arms reach forward. And then back to a T. Lift up. Arms back. Spine long. Open to a T. Hands come forward. One more. Back. Reach. Open to a T. Arms forward. Rest down. Good. Sit back. Give a stretch. All right. So all that should have felt back strengthening. It should have felt even along each side of your spine. Not straining. All right. Breathe in here. Exhale. Now curl the toes under. Let's just pop up to a little dog, down dog. Give a little stretch in through our hamstrings and spine. So when you're here, arms are out wide. Feel like you're wrapping your biceps forward. All right, so when you wrap your biceps forward, that will help you open across your chest. Right, your collarbones are broadening. Your tailbone is gonna turn up. Your abs still stay connected here, so we're not just dumping. Right, our ribs stay up. Our tailbone stays long, so lift your heels up here. A lot of times we can start to find that placement, right? Feel like you're turning your tailbone up, breathe in. Now keeping your spine there, lower the heels down. If you have to bend your knees a little bit to get there, bend your knees. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Now keep wrapping your biceps forward. One more time, up. Wrap the biceps forward, lower the heels because a fancy movement comes next. With your biceps wrapped forward, lower your elbows down. Lift back up. Right, well, if your arms are out here, you're not able to lower the elbows. Right, so biceps wrapped forward. Lower the elbows. 
press. Let's do five more. Five. Up. Take your hands a little wider if need be. Four. Up. Three. Two. Last one. Lower the elbows. Hold. Then press up. Come down onto your knees. A little cat cow. So hands right under your shoulders. Biceps forward again. Right here to round the spine up. Belly lifts. Then lift the heart. Lift the tailbone. Do it again. Round up. And then lift the heart. Lift the tailbone. One more time. Round up. Lift the heart. Lift the tailbone. Now come on to your knees. This is going to prep us for some kneeling side leg work. So you're on your knees. Hips are forward. Right? That string is pulling your hips forward. Arms out long. You're going to hinge back. And then come up. Now, that, there's a long line, like that I glued a metal rod from your knee all the way up to the side of your head. We're just going to move that imaginary rod back. We're going to move it up. Again, back. And then up. Your knees stay anchored. Your butt is tight. Do three more. Three. Up. Right, so my spine stays long, so I'm not dumping into my back. Two more. And then up. Last one, go back, hold it. Right, your butt is tight. I want you to remember what this feels like, that openness in your hips. Right, the utilizing of your glutes. Hold for five. Keep going back a little more if you can. Four. Keep going back a little more. Three. A little more, two, one, whew, come up. Now, turn to your side on your mat. So, your left arm, right leg, we're going to kind of teep out over to the side. Now, remember that feeling of the hip flexors forward, your butt is tight. That's what you want to find here. Right? So, if you need to offer a little more space, in an ideal world, it's hand right below shoulder, knee right below hip. But we don't live in an ideal world, and most of us are pretty tight there. So come out just a little bit. As long as you find your butt engaged, you're doing great. All right, the other hand comes behind your head. Use it as a tool to press your head back in your hand. Lift the leg up for 10. Don't let it touch the floor. Nine. Eight. Seven. Don't sit the butt back. Keep it forward. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, hold it up there, little circle, five, four, three, ooh, my bottom glute shaking, two, one, reverse, five, four, three, two, hold it, one, now sweep front, sweep back. So the goal here on the leg moves, nothing else moves. All right, do three more, three, two, Last one, press back, now bend that knee. We're gonna teapot up, come up, whew, next up. All right, so next arm down, so right, left leg out, hand behind your head, that little teapot over. All right, so find that placement. So we need that right glute to engage, that's gonna help us open up through our quad, open through our hip, then lift, and then lower. And then up, we get 10 here. Eight more here, eight, seven. Keep your head pressing back, six. Abs are still connected, five. Three, two, hold it up. Now, oh, little circles, five, four, three, one, reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Now, sweep front. Sweet back. So it's just the leg that's moving. The pelvis doesn't move. Back. Do three more. Three. Three. Two. Two. Lift it higher. One. One. Now bend the knee. Pop up. Turn back over. Right back into that cat cow. Extend the left leg. Again. Elbow to knee. Find that balance. Reach. Three more. Three, 
stretch. So everything stretching out from your midsection. Two. Last one. Round. Reach. Hand down. Keep that leg up high. We're going to do five little lunging push-ups. Elbows brush the ribs. Down and up. Five. Four. Lift the leg higher. Three. Two. Last one. Switch. Next leg. So right leg up. Left arm out. If that hand out that causes you to feel like you're going to fall over, you're right on point. Right? That's, <laughs> that's what we feel in the beginning. So we're going to round. Elbow to knee. Reach. And then again. So abs pull up to reach from the center. Three more. Three. Out. Two. Out. Last one. Ooh. Reach. Hand down. Leg high. Lunge forward. Lunge forward. Press back. And then again. Front. Back. Three more. Three. Leg lifts up a little higher. Two. Last one. One. Up. Knee down. Sit back. Quick little stretch. Open your knees wide this time. Go to the width of your mat. Hips back. Arms out. Stretch. Breathe in. Exhale. Another breath. Exhale. Let's give you a little stretch for your shoulders. We're going to end with what's called threading the needle. Right arm in front, left arm, threads underneath. Shoulder down, chest up, breathe in. Right, if you have mobility, arm up. If you have mobility from there, wrap the hand back, aim to grab your thigh, turn your eyes, look up. And then come all the way back up. Say love, next side. So right arm under, shoulder down. Lay that shoulder down. Arm overhead. Open through your chest. Reach up. If you're able to, thread the hand back. Keep trying to rotate your chest up towards the ceiling. Inhale, breathe into your lungs. Exhale. One more. On thread, come up, Whew. and then you're done. Your quick little 20 minute workout. A lot more back extension work today. A lot of times in Pilates, we're so focused on the flexion, right, the rounding portion, that we sometimes forget the necessity of adding in that flexion, that opening, right? So add that in. If you want more of my stretches in about five minutes, you can follow me over to my Brenda Freeman Pilates page. I'll be doing a half hour stretch, a little more relaxed opening of our thoracic spine or upper back, followed with some hip openers, quad stretches, all of that. All right, take care everyone. Love you all, bye.